Hello everyone, I am Miss Khalil, and I decided to teach my third grade students the life cycle of a butterfly that integrates with art. This was a three-day lesson. First, I began the lesson with engaging the students with a read-aloud book about butterflies called Waiting for Wings by Lewis Ehlert. Another book I read to them is called Caterpillar to Butterfly by Lisa M. Harrington. I asked students questions all throughout the engagement that made students interactive. During the read aloud, I asked questions such as, have you seen something like this before? Or, where did you see it? These books grabbed the students' attention about butterflies. Next, I had my students explore by creating their own butterfly by using different color paints. The students had to choose three colors of paint to construct their artwork. Materials that were used included paint, light-colored construction paper, and markers. I set all the art materials that the students would be using on their group table with my assistants. Before the students began their artwork, I gave out clear instructions and expectations so students would know what to expect. Starting off the exploration, I had students first fold their construction paper. This way, the students would know the symmetry line. Then, the students would drip a few drops of paint on random spots around the center of their paper. Then, I had the students fold their paper again on the same fold and press it gently. Once they opened their paper, they would see what they created to their own art piece that makes a butterfly with flying colors. Then, I explained to my students by showing them a visual poster of the life cycle of a butterfly. The students got the opportunity to see the transformation of a caterpillar to a butterfly. Then, I showed them the toy models that showed the stages of a butterfly. Afterwards, I displayed their artwork around the room for them to show me the symmetry line on their butterfly artwork, and explained to me why it was the symmetry line. Next, I had my students add in details, such as the body, antennas, wings, and other features they learned about to their butterfly painting using markers. After the students were finished, they got to share and discuss their art piece with the class. Lastly, I evaluated my students by having them write and draw the stages of the butterfly on their foldable and share it with the class. This showed me what my students have learned. To extend the lesson, I would have the students write a story about their creative artwork 